2024 has already brought us the first new diaper. The Tiny Tales from Abu recently went on sale and is striking for several reasons. First of all, it is the first diaper news episode in which Abu launches a new diaper. Then it's a diaper aimed at furries. Furries want to humanize animals, as you can see in cartoons, for example by talking. Part of this subculture does this by having people dress themselves up as an animal of their choice. These are the most striking, you can see an example in the pictures. Of course, they are also available with other animals, depending on which one the wearer of the costume likes best. Diapers are practical here because these costumes, some of which are elaborately designed, are not so easy to take off to go to the toilet. However, no manufacturer has yet made a diaper specifically for furries. I personally know few people in the scene who openly mix with the ABDL diaper wearers. It tends to be the exception. I have heard of puppies a little more often, and diapers fit in well here too. Of course, Abu is not just about furries. Although this is the motto of the diaper, the motifs will certainly appeal to some ABDLs who have little or nothing to do with furries. On the identically printed diapers, you can see several furry animals hanging from balloons at the front. At the back of the bottom, all four animals are depicted waving next to each other, surrounded by rainbow colors. At the top, a strip of bright colors borders the entire diaper. It is printed over the entire surface, including the sides. The closer you look at the motifs, the more details become visible. For example, there are even smaller clouds in the background. It is a rather elaborately printed diaper in position printing. This technique is probably the most exciting thing that has been developed in this area in recent years. For anyone who has never heard of it, I would like to explain it briefly. Until now, there have been two ways of printing diapers, either you focused on the wide strip at the front where you put the adhesives on, or there was a repeating pattern with which the whole diaper was printed. The pattern had to be chosen in such a way that it could be cut off at any point. The cutting machines for the outer film did not know exactly where this would be. This limited the design options because you didn't know exactly what would be at the front and back. With position printing, the cutting machine is given a kind of template so that it cuts the film exactly where the motif ends. You can see the limits of the previous print very clearly at crinkles, for example. There, the mascots are often partially cut off at the beginning of the diaper. As they are repeated, this is not so noticeable. But imagine this with a large motif like the tiny tails, it would look disastrous if half of the motif was missing or slipped out of place. The little pause is also an example of the repeating patterns with the pause. I find this a very exciting development. The tiny tails is one of Abu's first diapers in the new position print. It has foil on the outside, which will please the vast majority of you. And it is available in all sizes from S to XL. This is no longer a matter of course. In previous episodes of Diaper News, I have already introduced you to diapers that come in either S or XL. Some even both, because this reduces costs and medium, large fits most people. They are sealed with resealable plastic adhesives. They also have a wetness indicator which you can see in the pictures, it's a yellow line in the middle of the diaper, like you see on medical ones. If it gets wet there, the stripe changes color. The aforementioned little pause also has a wetness indicator. There, it has been built into the diaper quite creatively via the paws. The wetter the diaper gets, the more paws disappear. A simpler version has been chosen here. Although this is generally common with medical products, it is the exception with ABDL ones. The suction capacity is stated as 7.5 liters, but this varies depending on the size selected. This is also not unusual. A crinkles in size small, for example, can hold less than the same diaper in medium. After all, a smaller size has less absorption surface available to absorb liquid. Otherwise, Abu promises an improved outer film, which should feel even softer than with their other diapers. We haven't even looked at the packaging yet, but it's also worth a look. As with other manufacturers, the trend is moving away from the purely functional transparent films, on which only one or at most two white labels are stuck to list the most important information about the manufacturer and the diaper it contains. This was common practice for a long time and many existing ones continue to do so. With the newer ones, we have already seen in previous episodes of Diaper News how the pack now also has a complete design and is therefore fully printed. This is also the case with the tiny tails. Here you will not only find the familiar motifs, mainly from the front. 
but also other design elements such as the rainbow, which runs around the entire pack and is therefore a recognizable feature alongside the motifs. Similar to the diaper, there are also other details on the packaging that you may only notice at second glance. The four sizes from S to XL are also indicated in numbers. This is based on children's diapers, where there are no letters for the sizes, but numbers instead. It is no coincidence that these numbers start at 7. At Pampers, the largest diaper was size 7 for a long time, and in some cases this is still the case with other brands today. There are now Pampers 8, but not because the diapers have become bigger, on the contrary. They have simply stretched out the sizes and abolished the intermediate sizes with A+. The sizes in numbers on the tiny tails therefore have the message, where the children's diapers end, we are just beginning. With large, comfortable diapers for the grown-ups. It's a nice gimmick, but otherwise it has no meaning, the usual sizes are still in letters and the circumference is written underneath. This is the most important thing to look for, because regardless of whether it says medium or size 8 on the pack, the size and cut are not the same for every manufacturer, and sometimes they even differ with different models. Incidentally, the diaper was designed by the same designer as the popular Peak Abu. I had already done a practical test on it. The diapers are currently on pre-sale, but only via Abu's own store. Delivery is scheduled for mid to late January 2024. There is a separate offshoot for everyone from Europe so that the shipping costs are not too high. There is no price on it. However, if you add them to your shopping cart, you can see that one pack will cost €36.95. There are 10 diapers included, so €3.69 each. This is a high price, which is close to the high-priced diapers that Abu already sells. It is difficult to say to what extent this is in relation to the suction power. The measurement was also not carried out according to the ISO standard. A practical test must show how much the diaper can withstand. What do you think of the new tiny talls? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments here on YouTube. Stay dry until the next video.